What's up, Mambo Mike here. I've got a question from one of my viewers. She writes, just dating after a real long dry spell and getting used to the dating scene. When I get approached by men, I have a hard time rejecting men that I'm not interested in because I don't want to hurt their feelings. What should I do? First thing is, you got to be very clear about what is that you want. You know, whatever criteria you have for somebody interested in, somebody that you want to further interact with, just just know what that is. You have to really respect your own feelings because if you're not, you're hurting yourself by trying to please other people. And so I suggest that you check out my other video, uh, Relationship Deal Breakers. I'll leave it in the link below. So w once you get clear that you have to honor yourself, because if you don't, you're hurting yourself, you know, as a result of trying to not hurt other people. And it's never going to work. I mean, I see this all the time. You know, women who encounter guys you're not interested in, and then they uh, feel obligated to talk to them because they're nice. Then they end up giving out their number, even though they didn't want to, or, or they end up going on a date with them when they really didn't want to. And, and it just it perpetuates this whole cycle of shit that you don't want. So, if you don't want to give out your number, don't give out your number. And if the guy insists, uh, you know, to, to get your number and, and, and they really won't take no for an answer, then to just ask them to give you, ask the guy to give you his number. And, and, and you don't have to say that you're going to call if you're not interested in calling. That's your choice. But the, the fact is, don't don't put yourself out there in a way that's going to make you feel bad about yourself. Whether it be giving out your number, then having to answer calls, uh, getting harassed, or going on dates that you don't want to. Just, just, just skip all that bullshit. Just understand that you have the ability to screen who it is that you interact with, whether it's friends or dates or, or anything else. So if you do that from the beginning, it's going to be a lot less damage control later on if you, if you handle it from the beginning. So that is learning how to screen or filter out situations and people that you don't want. Okay, so don't waste a single moment with people that you don't want to be with because you have a limited amount of time that you can invest in doing things that you want to do and interacting with people that you want to interact with or dating. Uh, it's all the same. So you have unlimited, unlimited amount of people that you can be compatible with that you could spend time with. So, if, if as soon as you recognize the signs of a person that's not compatible with you, just just kindly remove yourself from the situation. I, I know that takes a little practice, especially when you're used to pleasing other people, but if you uh, continue to practice, I assure you it'll get easier. All right, so hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please leave some comments below. All right, thanks for watching.